David and Carolyn Discover, Coloring with Kindness, written and illustrated by Carolyn D. Palmer. That's me. I'm going to read my book to you today. Hope to get some reviews out of it. David and Carolyn Discover, Coloring with Kindness. David and Carolyn are brother and sister. They love to color. They have their own crayons that they call kindness crayons. David and Carolyn have left some crayons blank in the back of the book for you to call your own. Those are the possibility crayons, and you get to color and name them any kind words you can think of. David and Carolyn would like to take you on a coloring adventure to help you build a brighter world. So grab your crayons and together we will color the world happy one smile at a time where the possibilities are up to you. David and Carolyn loved to color so much, they made themselves some brightly colored crayon clothes. They dreamed of coloring a brighter world. They colored the walls in their bedrooms, hoping their mom would be happy, but she was not. She said, it was a mess. David and Carolyn had to spend all day washing it off. David was so tired. David and Carolyn thought maybe Grandma would like her walls colored, but nope, she did not like that either. David and Carolyn drew all over their big sister's school books, but she did not want her books colored. She looks pretty mad. David and Carolyn colored their cat, Kelly, but by the next morning, Kelly had licked it all off. A little bit on her face. Carolyn colored on her doll's face. David colored his favorite train bright red. David and Carolyn's mommy gave them some chalk and told them they could color the sidewalk. It was so beautiful when they were finished. Everyone loved David and Carolyn's sidewalk coloring. Well, they did pretty good. Even the cat's trying to help. When it started to rain, their coloring all washed away. That made David and Carolyn very sad. David and Carolyn wanted to do something nice, but coloring all over everything was not working. Poor David's pretty sad. Carolyn's trying to help. David and Carolyn could not think of any more ways to color the world brighter without getting into trouble until they thought about what it really means to make a brighter world. They knew that doing good deeds always made people smile, and a smile is much brighter than all the colors put together. David and Carolyn thought to themselves, hmm, everyone loves to color, and everyone loves kindness. Why not build a brighter world by coloring with kindness, where the possibilities are up to you? The end of this book is just the beginning of a brighter world. Check out the fun activities in the back of the book. Can you name some kind ways to color your world brighter? This is where the kids can help you think of some. You can color and name the kindness crayon. I put two in there, one, and there's the second one. And draw your own kindness, kids. You can put your friend's face, your face, an animal face if you like. Be very creative and think of some kindness kids of your own. Can you think of something nice to do for someone today? Maybe you could do the dishes for mom, put your clothes away, walk your pet. There's all kinds of simple things you can do to help out that don't cost anything. And as an act of kindness, 10% of the profits of this book will go to Barn Buddies. Canadian Miniature Therapy Horse Association, Barn Buddies. And if you want to purchase the book or know where you can find it or get a hold of me, this page has all the information, the ISBN number, and please feel free to contact me at any of these locations. Thank you everyone and have a great day.